hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So I'm really, really excited because I haven't done a Chanel video in a while and I have been kind of stockpiling a few different things. I'm, I'm gonna show you not only the new Le Beige summer 2022 collection from Chanel, I'm gonna show you some key pieces as well that I haven't had a chance to actually film and I wanted to do it as part of one whole video so I could kind of tell you my thoughts on what I think of their Le Beige collection as well as some of their lipsticks that I've purchased as well. So I am going to show you everything that I've purchased and we're going to do a look and it's going to be a real summer inspired look. It's not sunny outside today, it was sunny yesterday but let's pretend it is. Let's create something really beautiful. I have two Chanel bags here. In the first bag, I wanted to show you what I wanted to try for ages and I haven't had a chance to try it. So this is the Le Beige Eau de Temps Water Fresh Tint in Medium Plus and I bought this a while back and I just never got round to actually demonstrating it to you and actually using it and I wanna do that today with you. So I picked up that. I also have the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream and this one is in the 395 Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. I'm also gonna show you the medium one which just launched recently. I picked this up before the medium one launched so I thought this was the only color that they would be bringing out. Their normal one doesn't show up on my skin at all. I wanted to show you this as more of a contour color maybe perhaps and compare the two shades so you can see the medium as well as this one which is the more deeper one which is a tan deep. And I also did a swatch install which I'll insert of all three shades on my skin tone on my arm and you can see how that looks as well. We're gonna talk about this product. So I've got the medium one, which I'm gonna show you. So I have the medium one as well. I previously had the tan deep bronze, but now I also have the new one, which is the tan medium bronze. I'm gonna compare these two together with you. As well as that, during the sort of first launch of Le Beige, they had the Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette and I picked up the one in Intense, which I never got around to filming. So today is gonna to be like filming things that I didn't get around to. This one is gorgeous and I'm so excited to try these shades because they are really beautiful shades. Le Beige Palette Regard Belle Min Naturelle Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in Intense. I picked up the Le Beige Illuminating Oil Face, Body and Hair because I thought, I haven't really got anything like this. I've got the NARS one that I bought years ago, which is like a bronzing oil, but it really sort of intrigued me because you can use this on your hair you can use it on your body and you can use it on your face. So I love the versatility of this. I had no idea that this was huge. So I'm just gonna show you the size and it's gonna probably blow your mind. That's without it being mixed. But if I just turn this around and mix it, this is how big it is. It's absolutely huge. And I guess I've always wanted to pick one up, but never have. As part of this collection, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. What intrigued me was their brushes. I've never used their Le Beige brushes. In the water fresh tint, there is a brush in there, which I'm going to use that to apply the foundation on. But these ones I picked up as well, which is the Le Beige Maxi Pincel Kabuki Oversize Kabuki Brush. And then I also picked up the Le Pincel de Chanel Petite Pincel Kabuki Kabuki brush. Honestly, I went in store and I felt these and I was like, I have to have them because I love Kabuki brushes and I felt that it would really apply all these products really well. So I've picked up these two. Now, from what I'm aware, this one is gonna work with a product that I'm just about to show you really well, the larger one. And then the smaller one is for like the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is the one that I wanted to show you. This is the Le Beige Maxi Powder Belle Min In Soleil Lee Oversized Healthy Glow Sunkiss Powder in Sunkiss Medium. This is huge. I'm talking like Marc Jacobs size, you know, really generous size bronzer. I was really surprised. And when I went into the boutique, they said to me that this one would be the better of the three shades that they have on offer. They have light, medium, and I think deep. Oh, 
I love the Chanel that's imprinted on there as well. And oh, I'm so excited. And I love the smell. I'm obsessed with the Chanel smell on there bronzers they smell really really nice very similar sensation that I get when I smell any kind of Guerlain bronzer it just makes me feel really nice I also picked up two of their lipsticks now one is a limited edition from what I'm aware and I didn't know it was and when I went to Selfridges they said it was the last one and when you look at the packaging I think it is limited edition because the top of it is transparent which isn't the same as some of the other ones and this one I picked up in 146 in Dazzle and this one is kind of like an orangey red and I can't wait to do a look. And then I picked up from another visit that I did, the number 56 moment. Well, it's also transparent, so maybe they're not limited edition, I'm not sure, but this is more of like a kind of gorgeous sort of bronzy lip that will look amazing as well. On a side note, I just wanted to try out with all those, because it's kind of got that bronzy feel, the Hourglass Voyeur eyeliner. This one is in the color Solstice. And the reason I wanted to try it with this is because it's really got that bronzy look going on. And I've tried, if you've looked across all my videos, four of the five different eyeliners they introduced. So this is my fifth one and my final one. So let's see how this looks. So as you can imagine, there's so much to try and I'm really, really excited. I think the first step is always gonna be the foundation and I've heard so much about this. This is the Le Beige Eau de Ton Water Fresh Tint in Medium Plus. And I'm a huge fan of anything that has a lot of water in it because my skin is quite dry, it can, have some psoriasis. It's basically great for my skin. Now, what I love about this is you've got that, so you can see that it's a really watery type base, but you also get this brush in there, which I wasn't expecting. It's this little mini brush and it's to apply the foundation with. I'm just gonna pump, oh wow, so that is what it looks like. Can you see that? It's quite runny. It's definitely gonna be a water type formula. So I'm just taking it here. I'm just going to show you how it looks at the moment. That's one layer. I'm just going to go in with a second pump. It's a lovely watery texture. So that's the finished product and it's made my skin look so sort of hydrated. I love Chanel's Aqua Lumiere, which is the foundation they have that I use always when I'm at the gym because it gives me moisture instantly, but also really covers sort of redness and gives my skin a really lovely glow. This reminds me a little bit of the Aqua Lumiere. It's really lovely on my skin, I love it. I love this brush as well. So foundation is done. I love this. I've heard that they're bringing out very shortly another version of this and it will be a more fuller coverage version and I'm gonna definitely pick this up as well as they're bringing out a water tint blush. I think it's coming out sort of early June but I will pick it up because it is gorgeous, this formula. So this is the Le Beige water tint and you can see that the little speckles of colour within the water texture, it's very unusual, nothing like I've seen before. This is how it looks blended. Can we just talk about the texture in here? It's like a kind of water tint but you can see it's like suspended these little balls of colors are suspended it's such a clever formula really impressive 
So the next thing I'm gonna go into with you is these two products. I initially picked up the tan deep bronze color, but noticed that they were bringing out the Soleil tan medium bronze. What I'm going to do is I've got my Kabuki brush from them and I'm just gonna put one on one side and one on the other. And you can just see how it looks on my skin tone. So this is the packaging for the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in the Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. I'm just gonna pull it out. You get a good amount of product. I think, I believe 30 grams. You've got the Chanel logo on the top. You turn it. There's also like a plastic case that covers it. And then look at that. Oof. Isn't that pretty? It's like a mousse-like swirl. Really, really lovely. So I've been told that their Pincel de Chanel Petite brush is really good for this. So I am going to give it a go. So this is what it looks like. And it comes in its own pouch. You open it up and then you take it out of the pouch. And oh my God, you've got the Chanel logo on the end, but oh, it feels so soft, so soft. Obviously this is a synthetic brush, so we can use it with creams and it's absolutely fine. I don't even wanna use it cause it's brand new, but we're gonna do this together. So let's go ahead. So I'm going in and I'm swirling, swirling with the Kabuki brush, seeing how much I can pick up. Now I've been told that this is meant to kind of give you this gorgeous type glow. So let's see how this looks. Oh, wow. Wowzers. There is a scent. Yeah, you get the Chanel scent, but, oh, this is one half of my face. So you can see that I'm already kind of glowing. It's so weird to see half my face like this, but I can really show you that way how the difference is. Can you see that? It's like I've been on holiday and I'm so glad that I picked this medium color up because I think this is probably a better match for me right now. I haven't been on holiday yet, but I think the darker one will be better for sort of once I come back from holiday, but it's so lovely. I love it. Really, really nice. So now we are going to try the darker color. And this was the one that I picked up that they originally launched. Again, it's in the same packaging. I think this is gonna be a little bit darker on me, but I wanted to show you how it looks on my skin. So this is the darker version. So you can see it's a little bit more, it's probably for when I tan, I think. Let's test it out. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna swirl it again, and we're gonna put a little bit of that there. Oh, wow, look, right? I think we can see <laughs> that it's slightly darker than my skin tone, but, I don't think, like I'm not angry with it. Like I think I can get away with wearing this color. I just have to blend it out a bit more. But it does look like I've been on holiday, this side especially. It's still nice, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think on a darker skin tone, this is gonna be perfect. It's meant to kind of make you look like you're healthy. This is sort of the variation. So this is the darker side and this is the medium side and there's not much in it, to be honest. It's not huge. Wowzers. I mean, feels like I'm sort of so bronzed. It's really lovely. I feel like I'm on holiday. And this brush, may I add, is superb. So I'm just going to take this side and kind of try and blend it so that it's a bit more even. You can see that it's definitely given me a lovely glow. Ooh, really lovely. So I'm just going to show you a swatch of the medium so you can see medium on me and then I'm going to show you a swatch of the sort of more darker shade so just so you can see the difference. There really isn't much in it once you put it on your face. It's not that huge but that's the lighter one, medium, and that's the darker shade, deep bronze. So now we're gonna look at the Le Beige Palette Regard Belmin Natural Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette Intense. 
I went with the intense color because it looked really interesting. So those are the shades and we're just gonna apply these now. This is the new Hourglass Voyeur eyeliner and look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This is the colour Solstice and it goes so well with this look. Okay, so that is the Le Beige Intense and I love this. So it's five colours and this is the eyeshadow palette and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is the Arm Swatch or the eyeshadow palette in the intense colour. We're moving on to the next launch that just launched recently. This is the Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Sunkissed Powder in Medium. You can use this on the face and the body, that's why it's so big. And this is what it looks like. And my God, this reminds me of the Marc Jacobs bronzers, which I absolutely adore. This is in 15 grams. It's sunkissed and it's medium. You've got a plastic cover. And oh, look at that. You've got like the Chanel logo all over and the smell is beautiful. Then you've got the Le Beige Maxi Pincel Kabuki brush, which I picked up. And you've got the velvet case and then, oh, look at that, jumbo size Chanel. Okay, so I've got my big mirror. I've got my bronzer here and we're gonna just do a little bit here with this colour. So I'm going in with my Kabuki brush. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little bit of a gold sheen to it. It's really lovely. And we're gonna go in to the other side. So that is the bronzer in medium and it's really gorgeous. I forgot to show you the swatch for this. So let me just do that now. So this is the swatch for that sort of oversized bronzer and that's the color medium. So 
We're now going to move on to the lip products. I bought 56, which is Moment. So let's have a look at Moment first, and then we're going to look at the more brighter colour. So this is the colour Moment. It's really a real kind of bronzy look. Great for holidays. Ah, oh, what a lovely colour. It's beautiful. You know what I really love? This formula is amazing. This is the Coco Flash formula. It's really glossy, but is very moisturizing as well. And it's such a beautiful complimentary look. I love it. This is the Le Beige Visage Corpse et Cheveux, which is illuminating oil, face, body, and hair. Huge, as you can see, 250 ml of product because it's for your body as well as your hair and as well as your face. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna open it up and it's got the Chanel on the top and then it's got a lovely dispenser. I love this because can you imagine if it was open and it wasn't like this? I'd have a huge problem. I'm gonna dab it onto my hands. It's very sort of oily, but I've shaken the product. And I'm just gonna put that on and we're gonna put it on this part of my skin and my shoulder. So you can see that on my hand, it's quite strong. My shoulders are quite light compared to my face. What I'm gonna do is do that again, give it a good shake. Dab it on my hand. And then you can see the product is running around just there. It has a lovely fragrance, by the way this oil and just put it on my neck and you can put it on your face as well so I'm just going to go over my face with it it's really nice so you can use it on your face you can use it on your body which I'm going to do now and then you can use it on your hair so my hair's up today I'm going to see if I can just put it on the ends here so I'm just gonna give it a good shake again. Dab a little bit on my hand. I love this dispenser, by the way. I'm gonna use my fingers for this and I'm just gonna put it at the ends of my hair. So it feels very luxurious and it feels like I should be going on holiday, but I'm not, sadly. It's really nice, it feels really nice. Okay, so I'm just dabbing the rest on my face. It's a lovely oil. That feels so nice. So I have the oil on and I'm now ready to try on my next lipstick. So this is the oil formula. It's tinted, but it's really well done. It's really fine. So this is the Le Beige Face, Body and Hair Oil. So we're just gonna go on to the final lip color and this one is in the color 146 Dazzle. And I really like this when I saw it in store, I thought this is gonna look lovely for a summer look. So this is Dazzle, that's the color. Really, really pretty. There's some sparkles in there as well. So we're just going to apply Dazzle now. This is a gorgeous colour. I knew I was going to like this colour. What's really nice is that it's so creamy as soon as you put on this formula and it doesn't take a lot to get that shine to come through. So what I'm going to do is just dab and add a little bit of colour to the apples of my cheek. This is a really good tip if you're 
on holiday or you're out and about and you don't have a blush you can just use your lipstick and get that gorgeous sort of monochrome look so you're using the same lipstick to get a beautiful kind of glow and oh I love this it's so nice I knew I was going to love this collection So now I'm going to show you these swatches for the two lipsticks. So this is the first one and that's that gorgeous colour 56 moment. And then I'm going to show you underneath the colour that I just put on now which is this lovely colour here and this one is 146 Dazzle. Love both colours. So this is the finished look and I am in love with these products. Oh my God. <laughs> Le Beige is something that Chanel do so well. It really is a kind of summery vibe. No matter what you get, you're gonna love. I mean, you've seen all the different products that I've tried today. I don't have a favorite. I love them all. Is that bad? Also, the brushes are superb. They're so good. They're so soft as well on my cheek. I absolutely love that. The lipsticks were gorgeous. The bronzer, I'm glad that I picked up the two colors because what I will do is probably use the darker one when I've tanned, but use this more medium one now. And the bronzer, beautiful size. I love the fact that it's an oversized palette so that I can use that on my sort of shoulders, my neck, anywhere where I want some bronzing. I love the oil, which is for the hair, the face, the body, love it. I love that it's huge as well, so I can really get a good use out of it. The dispenser's really good. Um, I love the foundation that I had on initially, which was that water tint one, and I'm looking forward to the launch that they're going to bring out with the blush and the sort of more higher coverage tint that they're going to bring out so I'm very very excited about that. That is my haul of like the Le Beige collection that I've picked up from the past and as well as the new collection. I love the eyeshadow as well, forgot to mention the eyeshadow is beautiful, the colours are so summery. This is all I need, if I was going to go on holiday this is all I would take because you don't really need any more than this because you're not really going to be wearing a hell of a lot of makeup, but you want to look glowy. You want to look like you've been on holiday. So this is going to be my go-to holiday makeup whenever I get the opportunity to go somewhere nice and sunny. Please let me know your comments, your thoughts. Have you picked up any of these products? Do you like that sort of bronze glow? How does that make you feel? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.